On the right is James Albert McNeil Whistler's folding screen titled Blue Silver, screen with Old Battersea Bridge. Western Whistler's charcoal sketches for this composition show that he, he simplifies the structure of the central bridge pier and aligns it to the center fold of the screen. This deceptively small bridge shape therefore swings gently toward the observer or away depending on how the screen is bent, yet never loses its basic form. In my folding screen on the left, uh, spring emerging fishes, my intent was that there be a folding screen perspective and an implied simultaneous passage of time and space in my three panel screen. This work borders on a kind of abstraction. The viewer sees the same swimming, swimming silver leaf fish glistening in the water in each of the panels from three different angles. <clears throat> and simultaneously as a part of one overall design. This type of thinking is a fundamental principle underlying cubism. The fish changes as it goes through different stages of biological development. At one point, its head appears not like a fish, but as, a, as the head of a parrot. There is exceptional, there's an exceptional book called Folding Screens by James, by Charles Hemming, who is an artist himself, which gives a fine account of folding screens from early time to the present. <clears throat> 